1940s, 50s, mid 1900s. Got the uh, workers there with their ox cart. Hey guys, welcome back to Fraser Focus Local Faces and Local Places. Right now I'm in Abbotsford with the longest mural around. It was recently unveiled at 160 feet in length, and we're here to celebrate. This work of art will take us back in time and remind us of our heritage. One, two, three. Hey! I have this great big long parking lot fence uh, and it faces Sumas Road, which has a lot of traffic on it. And uh, it, it has been an idea of mine basically to, to give something back to the city and complement the natural beauty that surrounds us. It's amazing. They've been working on it for so long, and the artist is amazing, and I've seen some of his work before, so it's going to be beautiful. The lady in the uh, fields there was, uh, was from the archive photos is, that we were given. Fraser Valley living in mid-1900s. Uh, we tried to encompass all the great things it had to offer, that the perfect day in the life of farming. We got all those five crops in there. Dean Lazay has been in our community for a long time, many different artworks, and uh, this is just beautiful. Hey, I hope you enjoy it. The best part about it is everybody going by Sumas is going to be able to see it, and what's Fraser Valley all about, as well as farmers. Oh, the willow trees. Oh, Christina and I uh, conceptualized it, then uh, Josh and I did most of the painting. Christina's got some painting on there, but she's been okay, busy. Who are these mysterious people? Yes, this is Joshua right here. Our okay. Son. My partner, Christina. Dean and I design everything together. And Josh has been with us for many years painting projects and uh, um, he's, uh, he's a musician at heart but he loves working with us and we do a lot of great stuff together. There's a lot of beautiful detail in there, uh, great painting, a uh, little impressionistic kind of high detail in some spots. Uh, it just, it, there's, we put a lot of energy and, into making every panel interesting. Farmer looking over things. Big thanks to Neil for making this all happen. He's put a lot of time and energy and money into this project as a gift back to Abbotsford. 53 years later, the mural is practically the exact same length and height that my father had done back in 1965. He's so giving and he loves to help everyone. He's the best and all, yeah, he's amazing. We purchased this, this business uh, just over 20 years ago years ago so now I'm gonna go back there and Sam is gonna show me exactly what you guys did right right that's so great. let's just kind of stand out of the way here to make sure that uh, we don't get run over by anybody we don't want to get run over no. as you can see that these are the cars that are coming in there's a yeah. pile of cars that are, come, are going out yeah uh, you know Richmond Steel will be coming in and crushing those vehicles okay. right so we like I said we usually crush if we bring 300 cars in we'll yeah. crush 300 cars Last month we pushed 420, we bought 420 cars in. Whoa. So this month we bought the same, about 400 cars. After the cars are drained, the process, they go into what we call the uh, population yard. Okay. Customers come, they can pull parts themselves, or we can pull them for them, right? So we'll drain our, the oil and antifreeze into those funnels, and they'll also magically be sucked into the containers. This is a fancy new toy we picked up. This is, so. The only stipulation that Neil had in this whole project it was uh, not anything to do with cars, nothing to do with automotive related themes. In our first concept, we had a little car in the background. He goes, oh, I kind of like it, but get rid of that car. You know? <laughs> so We have enough cars here <laughs> already, it. no yeah. more. Right? It was truly, yeah, it truly is a, a gift back to the city. The mural is a gift to the residents in honor of the rich agricultural heritage here in Abbotsford. We'll be right back here on Fraser Focus in a moment.